if you look back, the articles that The Economist has put out in October, they put one out saying that energy storage will be clean tech's next trillion dollar business. Energy storage of all forms is really the holy grail of the renewable energy business. Energy storage is required for a number of reasons, but one of them is that offshore wind, obviously a renewable, but very, very intermittent. You can't predict wind, you can't predict uh, solar. With the lack of energy storage, it's next to useless. Banking is the only solution. Organic Heat Exchanges has developed Energy Vault, and there's nothing like it in the market. One megawatt hour of cold charge on tap, rapidly deployable whenever you need it. Buy your energy when it's cheap, offset your energy costs when it's high. You don't have to draw power when prices are through the roof. If we have an off-peak tariff, we could charge out the energy vault of a night time. Um, and during the day, during the winter months, we don't have to bring our chillers online at all. We're using this cheaper energy source that we charged up over the night and we're drawing down on it throughout the day. Our inbuilt AI will look for pockets of cheap energy to charge the battery. If you've got renewables, you can totally decarbonize your cooling. If you get into temperature squeeze, which increasingly is happening around the world, temperatures where you can't manufacture, temperature where all your food is going off. This summer, one of our compressors went down in our chillers. Yes. So we've got four compressors, so we're 25% down in cooling capacity. Had it not been for the energy vault, that could have caused us some issues. We would have had to start restricting our cooling to some of the lab areas and the office areas. But actually, because we had the redundancy of the energy vault in place, we started to pull down on that. So the energy vault took the place of the broken compressor, which we were waiting to come in from Italy. So actually, it's, it saws through summer. You can use energy vault to provide that resilience for your systems. It's very difficult to quantify what the costs of closing down for a day or two or, or four hours or whatever would cost them. This site is my responsibility. And if we messed up the cooling, it could bring down the business. Industry sectors we're going to be targeting in the next six months. Data centres is an exciting one because it's the growth industry and, and, and more so the AI data centres uh, and they're prolific users of power. 50% of the electricity load, electricity consumption, goes on cooling. The vertical farming is becoming a very precise science now. Through using total control environments, uh, we can grow more specific crops in places that you wouldn't expect to be able to grow them and we can grow crops consistently. So if they want 8 degrees for a period of the day, they don't want 8.5 or 7.5, they want 8 degrees. Our priority in looking at the energy vault is, is reliability. The more consistent we can keep our temperature, the more consistent we can keep our crop and the better yields that our customers can get from uh, from vertical farming. With energy vaults, we can be correct to 0.2 of a degree for any facility. We can use it as a backup to a conventional chiller. We can use it to um, take a conventional chiller offline for servicing. You could save millions of dollars of crops if you get a blackout and your cooling system doesn't work because of that. If we don't have any redundancy in our chillers, then in a matter of hours, we will be damaging damaging our crop. We well, imagine there'll be isolated cases where an energy bolt could probably pay for itself in one day. If you're a pharmaceutical company, or you're a food producer, or you make drinks. Everywhere we look, there's a slightly different angle. And it just proves the malleability of the product because it can cover all these different angles, even some that we hadn't thought about. I can see potential for Energy Vault in a, a wide range of markets. There are applications for it, left, right and centre. In fact, anywhere where you've got a chiller could benefit from an Energy Vault. UK market is huge, but the, uh, uh, the overseas market, particularly when you get equatorial, uh, is uncomprehensible. We've got a completely exclusive product, it has a world patent, there is nothing competing with it in a potentially $200 billion global market. 70% of some countries power goes on cooling. 20% of power worldwide goes on cooling. Here is the best cooling solution with energy storage anybody has ever come up with. There's no competition. 
So at the moment, it's, it's our equipment in that $200 billion market or no one's equipment in the $200 billion market. People in the industry that understand what we've got yeah. immediately understand its value. Yeah. They will feel that they have an advantage over their market by allying themselves with us. We have a vertical farming product which, uh, which we sell to customers worldwide. We certainly see potential to, uh, to recommend to customers that they deploy Energy Vault on, on their, their sites. We've reached out across the world, all of my old CDM contacts, and everybody is engaging with us. Everybody is interested. Increasingly, the reputation to damage for not embracing net zero, not embracing reduction in their emissions, and for cooling, not, in, not embracing cool net zero is going to be significant. At the moment, we've got this drive on, on uh, low carbon and energy management. And I think that the general perception and understanding has grown tremendously. Um, and Energy Vault is built for that sector. So if you're a CEO of a major corporation, put a deposit on Energy Vault, or put a deposit on five Energy Volts, and you can put in the back of your annual report that we have taken preparations to cool net zero our cooling. Being a young company, uh, our, our value is, 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 is fairly low at the moment. You know, our, our value, when, when we've secured a big slice of that $200 billion market, uh, will be huge. OHX started off at eight pence, 2022, we raised them £700,000 there, moved up to 32 as the product became a full product. Now we we're at 40 pence for this round. I could see us being 120 in the next stage. But every time we've raised the money, they've gone off, made dramatic progress, and that's what you want in a relationship between the funders, the shareholders, and the company. We didn't want to make an offering that, 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 that we stated words that we couldn't back up. Uh, so we've had 18 months of really rigorous testing in industry, throwing all sorts of problems at the Energy Vault to solve. So now we can actually say with confidence that, uh, yeah, it, it, it's a resilient alternative. This sector of the marketplace is completely open for massive, massive, massive disruption. And that can come from Organic Heat Exchanges Energy Vault. So click the link below, get yourself some documents, and let's catch you on the course so you can find out more and make the informed decision.